This is an overview video of Aqua Data Studio Query Builder showing some advanced features or different examples of how to use the Query Builder. Okay, the Query Builder can be launched through the main menu Query Builder New or a, an easier way to launch the Query Builder is by right clicking on a connection and you also find the way to launch the Query Builder that way. So Query Builder New has the extra step of saying where are you connecting and, and building your query against and you can select a database connection that way or save a click or two by right clicking on a connection and launching the query builder that way so depending on how you've organized your navigation tree here I could right click on an existing connection and click on query builder so let's open up some different examples um, here is a query builder against a SQL Server environment and so if I just dragged over a single table, this would be an example of working with a single table. So let's leave that window open. Here, if I perhaps in the same database opened up a query builder, but now selected multiple tables, right? So I could select or control click to select multiple tables and then bring those over to my white space background. And there notice you see the referential integrity displayed and the join relationship line. So we'll talk a little bit more about that example. And then maybe let's open up an example against an environment without referential integrity and open up a query builder there and bring over say one or multiple tables that are not related and we can see those do not have the relationship line. And so we can talk about how to work with all these different examples. Okay, so as you know, the Query Builder is a floating window, so let me go back to that original single table. Notice it wrote a select star for me, so if you're working with just a single table and you're new to writing SQL, that might be beneficial. So here I have a single table, click on the green run arrow, and that selects all the fields uh, with the select star SQL syntax. So this might be beneficial as, a, as an example. Or I could individually start selecting fields from here, right? I could manually select my columns and then notice it starts customizing my SQL that way. And then I could click on the green run arrow and bring back those rows of data. So here's an example of working with a single table. And then we'll talk a little bit more about bringing that SQL in, into different windows within Aqua Data Studio. If we visit the environment where I brought over multiple tables and I see the join line I can click within the join right click and drill into the join properties and now I can see the type of join and even some some customizations there so here I could choose a different operator or I could actually change the type of join and notice you'll see that displayed here within the SQL tab Right, so I could select all rows from one table, all rows from another table, and notice you see the different types of join changes from a left outer join to a right outer join, and then that will be displayed within my code. Also, if I had a relationship between other fields that I wanted to create the join, I have that flexibility. So here, if I just remove the join between two tables, I can create that join within this SQL statement just by connecting columns of the same data type. And so you have flexibility there. When you see the relationship line by default, uh, that's because there's a relationship in the database. Now if you visit the third example where I had tables that were not related, here you can again create that relationship line by dragging columns of the same data type and that will create the join in this SQL statement. And then I'd be able to execute against one or multiple tables in this this way. So these are three different examples of how to work with a single table, tables with referential integrity, or tables without referential integrity. And then from here there's there's different customizations you might be interested in. Um, you have the aggregate property boxes, where, group by, having, order by, union. So you can launch those from some of the drop-down windows or you have drag and drop capabilities and that's an easy way to say work and move quickly within this window and customize SQL in that way. 
And then you have different ways of bringing the SQL into the clipboard. So I could just say copy SQL, um, execute on the fly here or with the toolbar icon. And then of course, this is a savable, reusable AquaData Studio file with the save as and the .qbw extension. Okay, thank you for joining this advanced video on some variations of how to use AquaData Studio's Query Builder.